Hello everyone, welcome to my today's video. This is Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to continue to create my own cloud downloading and file management website. I'm going to use in Alia 2, Alia NG, Acron, Nginx, Portainer, those software to create my own cloud downloading website. We already finished part one. So we created our Nginx Docker container. We have Portainer container, also Alia 2, Alia NG, Fire Browser, those containers. And we have two folder created. And the website is up. We can download it, which we were you downloading before. And we also can use Portainer, manage those containers. File browser can be used to manage those downloaded files. In today's video, I'm going to continue to finish the part two, which is install Acron and mount our Google Drive to our CentOS 8 host and the files downloaded from Area 2, Area NG. They will be temporarily stored at the date folder. After they finish downloading, they will be moved to GGI folder, which is Acron mounted to the Google Drive. Let's start it. I'm going to install Acron on CentOS 8 host. As you can see from the screen, I have four containers running. So first thing we need to install EPL release first. After that, we just install a couple of uh, program we may need. It won't take too long. All those commands you can find out from my blog post, which I put a link in the video description. So now RC Chrome has been installed. Now we can do the configuration. So just type Chrome config and you will bring you to the menu. So this is a new remote. So we're gonna give a name, we call it a GD Google Drive, GD Drive. So then we have 42 options to connect to so usually we go into the it's not google cloud storage it has to be google drive this one so which is 15. we're going to use in default value for access we're going to use in a load folder also set up default value don't need to edit our advanced configuration here. We will not uh, auto config. Choose no here. Now we get this link. We need to authorize. We need to log in. Basically, we need to log in our Google account and authorize our Chrome access. So let's go to our web page. Now we need to copy this code. Go back to our command line. Paste this code here. This is not thin drive. So we choose no. Say yes. Now we can quit from here. Now we can take a look at our GD drive. So right now it's empty. We have nothing there. Now we need to mount it. We have a remote configuration created by our Chrome. Now we need to mount it Google Drive to local drive. So, so we have load 
slash gt drive folder. So this is our file system. So the command has to be changed with the right name because our configuration is using g gd drive okay so we have type earlier so it's case sensitive for the configuration name so gd drive has to be exactly the same letters as we typed in before so mounting usually takes a couple of seconds. It was sitting here, but we can open second SSH connection to verify it. So this is our second SSH connection. This is our first one. Now we can check. You can see we have mounted our 16 gig GT drive here. So to unmount it, it's simple. Just Ctrl C and stopped and you should be able to see it's gone to make this arc room mount even after reboot the vps so we need to create that service so let's do a couple steps here create a service here the paste and we paste the those configuration here is the command. We need to make changes. Exactly, we need to do the same thing. Change the configuration name, gtd drive, and it's under the root gtd drive folder. Okay, save the configuration. Now we can start the service and enable the service. After you start the service, you can see the drive has been mounted. We can take a look what is in that uh, folder. So I have already have a folder called 51 sec. Basically, it's have nothing there. Um, now we can downloading something and then telling downloading from area ng and then telling area two to move that finish download file to this folder. We cannot go into area two dash ui list containers console. Cd app folder. There's a conf, a conf folder. We're gonna create a um, new file called our uh, Chrome upload.sh. We're gonna copy a script which you can find out from my blog post. So that's our all files. Save it. We're gonna make it. Uh, executable and now we're going to change our area 2 configuration we can add uh, one last one line there to tell in area 2 once finished the downloading, just uh, upload the file to Google Drive. Now we need to restart the Docker. Gonna exit from here.
So now we are putting the configuration into effect. Now we're going to do some testing. Going to download in some files. This is copy image address. Perfect. Download in a new file. Okay, let's finish it. We cannot see it here, it's not showing here. The reason why, because it has been moved to the GT drive after finish downloading. So what, what we can do is, we can go back to GT drive. So as you can see, we got uh, this file. At the same time, we can log in to our Google drive to verify that. That's a file we just downloaded. That's all steps I can show you today for how to create your own downloading website and uh, use Google Drive as a cloud storage for your downloading. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.